So what I want to do now is dynamically change this page depending on just kind of random, right? I want this to change. I want all the content in here to change. So in order for me to do this, I have to convert a lot of this content into being somewhere that would actually exist in our database versus where it's hard coded into the template itself um, or the HTML itself, right? So we had this HTML and it's, it's hard coded in here. It's not actually um, changing based off of any given database entry. So what we wanna do is go into models.py and we're gonna create a new class in here called page. And I'll say models.model and we are gonna do the things that we actually want to render. So in this case, I have a title, I have a like a, a sub page description, and then maybe a action button, right? So that's the first things. So I'll just say title, and we're gonna do models.charfield, and we'll do max length of, let's say 220. I definitely want that to be required. I wanna make sure that I definitely have a title field. And then I could do subtitle content, or something like that, or subtitle, um, or rather title description or page description. And in this case, I'll do models.text field. So it can be as big or as small as I want. In this case, I'll also allow blank equals a true and null being a true. So it can be empty in the database or, or just not exist. Okay, so now that we've got that, we'll just say um, title button and we'll just add, uh, this is the button right here so that title whatever that's going to be and i'll just add a char field for this as well and in this case i'll do max length equaling to 50. Uh, again we'll do blank equals the true null equals the true i actually don't know what this button is going to end up doing so let's just go ahead and say title button url and since we have a url and this might end up being blank i'm actually going to put a default up here and just saying whatever default value I want. In this case, I'll just say join. Um, I'll explain what that does in just a moment. Okay, so we've got our title stuff. And then down here, this is really just our content like description. So this is just general content area. So I'll just say content equals to models dot, and this is gonna be a text field. In this case, we don't want it to be blank, but you know, if you're testing stuff out, go ahead and leave it blank. Okay, so now that I've got this, I'm going to just add in a string here and I'll just return, and it takes in self, and I'll return self.title. So I go ahead and save that, and I'll run my migrations, make migrations, and then python manage.py migrate, and then I'll run the server again. Okay, so now that we've got this, let's go into our views, and we've got this create view in here, right? So I might not wanna change how my form works. I mean, there's a lot of ways on how we could go about doing this, but. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna change what's rendered in the HTML page. So that is, I'm gonna change get context data, and it's gonna return something that we want, okay? So I'm gonna first off do context equals to super. So let's get the default context by running super here and get context data. And we actually might wanna put in uh, args and keyword args because you might not know what's being passed into the context data. So we just add it in just like that. So that's our default context. Now, what I also wanna do is import my page. So from.models, import pages or the page model itself, right? And I wanna get the first item that actually exists in there. So I'll just say context and we'll just say object equals to page.objects that filter, or we'll just say all and first. Okay, so this is grabbing that page object, but instead of calling it object, I'll just call it page obj. So this is related to whatever that page is, and we're gonna go ahead and grab that data inside of this home view. But since we are adding this page object, let's make sure that it's in our admin so we can actually work with it. So from.models import page, and then admin.site.register page. Okay. So now back into our home page here. Um, the title was this right here. So we'll just say uh, page underscore obj dot title. And then this was the next one would be something related to that page. So that was, uh, let's look back into our model. And that was title description. 
So page title description. And then I'll also add in line breaks here. We'll see what that does in a second. And then um, I will also add that title button, but I really wanna see if uh, title button URL, I think it was called, if that even exists, then we will actually use this. So if it exists, then we'll use the title button URL as the href, and then we will change the title button to that. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's go ahead and change. Well, I'm eventually gonna move where this form is. So I'm just gonna put it in a new row above here and we'll just do class row and we'll just add in that one right there. And then below that row, I'm gonna add in the content. So I'm not actually gonna put a row in here. I'm just gonna leave it in as we want it. So I'm just gonna come in here and I'll leave this in as a container. I'll put a new container here and do div class container close off that div and then page objects dot content is what we want here. And I'll also render it out as safe. So we save that. I refresh on my homepage now. Um, I looks like I have some issues with this rendering. So let's make sure that I have, oh, I got my if statement here. I didn't close it off. So let's make sure we close it off. And if save that refresh, and now my page is empty, right? It doesn't actually show anything um, because of how it, like we actually set up everything so far. We don't actually have a page object. So let's go into our admin and let's create a page. Click on pages, new page, and we'll say um, knock HQ, welcome. And join us. And then I'll just add in that boot that original bootstrap content um, at getbootstrap.com. Go back there and let's go ahead and grab it from the example. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab these four items here inside of the row. There's some things that we'll probably need to change. I paste that content in there. We hit save. Now I go back in here and refresh. Now this stuff is showing up. Notice the join page, I do have my content. Things are starting to look a little bit better. Um, notice that I had my container closed off here, but I closed it off there and there. So I'm just gonna add one more container for our footer. Refresh and now our footer goes back over and I'll just go ahead and do knock HQ and we'll change our copyright. Okay, cool. So the project name we still need to change, which is knock HQ, there we go. So now we've got a little bit closer to a page that we might want. Now the fact that I used this right here, I can actually say order by, and then now I can use a random page that's gonna come in here. Since I only have one, I can't see that it's random. So let's add another page and we'll say knock two, and we'll just add in some random stuff here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that same data as filler data, paste that in. Notice I'm leaving that button URL out, I save that. I refresh in here and now I can actually test out different variables or different landing pages based off of what's going on on that individual page. Very useful for us and also then when I'm live, I can actually come in here and just change new data um, as I see fit and I can refresh in there, and that will allow me to actually run my data just a little bit differently. Now granted, I don't necessarily want to always do this, or I don't always want to have it ordered by random, so I'll just leave it in off of that, and I'll just say first, and we'll just update and change how that, that initial homepage is gonna be, because realistically, you're gonna to wanna to choose which one is gonna show up. Um, so that's it for this one. If you have any questions, let me know. I will actually have to do one more thing, and that is adding this to our data or to the server. So in this case, we said uh, page app or page model and dynamic homepage, and we'll do git push Heroku master and and Heroku run Python manage.py migrate. So I'll let that finish off and in the next one we will uh, do some more things with this to make sure our pages are running well.